Hey everyone, Coach Jonah here from Zelias Aerial Arts. Today I wanted to give you everyone a quick project they could do at home to make a wrist roll-up bar. A wrist roll-up bar is a exercise, piece of exercise equipment that we can use to help our grip strength and forearm strength. And the best part is it's really easy to make. There's really only three things you need for this project. A wood dowel, you can use a stick, you can use a branch, I have a piece of, I think it's about an inch and a quarter dowel. A chunk of rope that you're able to hang 15, 20 pounds off of. And then a small weight. All we're gonna do is we're gonna use the dowel. We're going to tie the rope onto the dowel with one end, and then tie the weight onto the rope on the other. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a rolling hitch on top of this dowel. So the rope goes over the top, comes around on one side over the rope, around on that same side again, then through the middle, and pull it nice and tight. And this is a knot that you use when you tie a rope or something onto a bar. It has a lot of friction, so it's not gonna slide on as much. So on this, we're using a rolling hitch. So I put the long side of the rope towards me, short side of the rope goes away from me. I'm then grabbing the rope, it's going under and to my right. I then cross it over top of that of the rope. So now it's on the left. I then bring it from the left back under to the right, back over top to the left. Now this time, I'm gonna bring this rope on the left side. And then it goes under that second loop we just made. And then you pull it Just like that. Then from there, I'm just gonna tie a loop onto the bottom here. And then that loop can go through our weight at the bottom. So I tied that loop big enough that I could put the whole wood dowel through. So now I can very easily cinch and uncinch the weight to change it change the height. And then on the bottom, really any knot would do, make sure you have enough slack in this rope so whatever loop you have is big enough to go over your dowel at the end. So I'm tying a figure eight. Um, so I'm bending the rope in half. I have about 10 inches of rope folded in half. I then go bend it, go under the rope, over top, come around the back and through the bottom. Because then when you tie a loop like this, you're able to pass it through. If you have a dumbbell, you can just make a little choke and put that around the head of the dumbbell and cinch it tight. Or if you have a plate weight or something with a hole in the middle, you can put the line through and then pass it over itself. to cinch it closed.